hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting super badge which is nothing but a floor debugging super badge unit so let's take up this challenge now so guys this super badge also needs some special developer edition organization to be connected so as i have already completed that i'm just directly going to take up this challenge now and if you have any queries regarding how to connect with your developer organization the video has been already posted in our channel so do check that I'll also provide link in our description. Now click on launch and let's duplicate this tab as well. So here in quick find I'm just going to search for flow and click on flows and on another quick find which we have duplicated we just going to search for process automation settings. So it is right over here click on that. So here in flows we are going to choose one flow called create a case flow. Click on create a case flow. Meanwhile let's check whether we have checked this option which is let's admin debug flow as other user. We need to check this checkbox. Click on save. So guys now let's go to your permission set. Uh, so once if you click on permission set you will be landed on this page now click on new permission set and here I am going to give one label as run flow for standard user so once it is done click on save now you will be getting this page so here go to your system permissions and in find setting search for run flow so click on that before that we need to click on edit here and now let's give our permission to run flows select this checkbox and click on save click on save again and now click on manage assignment followed by add assignments so here we are going to choose Andesha Ragman so click on that click on assign now once it is done click on done let's go back to our case which we have opened once refresh this let's click on debug now and here we are going to select this checkbox as run flow as another user and here we are going to search that user and click on Andesha Ragman once if it is selected click on run yeah guys so once you are successfully able to debug this as a username of Andesha Ragman we have completed our first challenge so click on check challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge so for the second challenge we need to type as flow in our quick find click on flows so guys here we are going to choose our flow name as create opportunity click on create opportunity flow now double click on create opportunity and scroll down click on add field and here in field we are going to add one more field called stage name followed by value as opportunity stage pick list so let's search for that so here it is let's search in this
select it as opportunity stage click on done now let's go to our apex mail so in click find type it as apex mail so you will find apex exception mail click on that so after clicking we are just going to copy this mail id which is provided over here in our challenge so click on that paste it over here click on save so once it is saved let's go to our process automation so click it as process type process and select process automation settings and now here we are going to choose option as apex exception email recipients click on save so refresh this page once so hopefully we have completed our second challenge as well let's go back to our challenge and check it now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge as well so if you are getting any error in this challenge all you need to do is activate that flow and check the challenge so let's take up our third challenge now so for this challenge we are going to choose i value opportunity assignment flow so i'm just going to click on that so once you get this flow click on add element after this start now let's add or get records over here give table as get role an api name is auto populator for object give it as role click on role now let's set our condition so for field select developer name equals value we are going to give it from our challenge so little bit scroll up and copy this and paste it over here so once value is given and let's do one change over here so our value should be something like this so give this exact value over here click on done once it is done now let's add one more record here click on get records and label i'm going to give it as get user API name is auto populator and for object select user click on user let's set our condition now so for field i am going to choose it as user role id so search for that it is right over here and operator should be equals for value i am going to give it as role from get role followed by your role id So it is right over here. Click on done. And in this change on our element, double click. And for this value, we are going to give it as get from role from get role. And user from get user both are there. We are going to choose user from get user followed by user ID. so search for user id this right over here so once it is done click on done now let's save and activate this and let's check our challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our third challenge as well so let's take up our fourth challenge now So for this fourth challenge we are going to choose our flow as account suspension click on that flow let's change this layout to free form go to manager you will find account id over here click on that so click on the pencil icon 
here we are going to change this API name as record ID so type record ID over here and once it is done click on done click on save as and let's activate this flow as well and hopefully we have completed our fourth challenge as well so let's check this now so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge as well see you all on next video until then bye bye